Kerry Brown is uh, our partner in formulation and in, and in product development with a company called Factory Six. Carrie and I have known each other for a couple, I don't know, dozen years. And um, I'm a big fan of Carrie. I give him a lot of uh, a kudos and I, and I tell everyone that he's a genius because I think he is. Carrie, <clears throat> we sat down together and we decided we were gonna do something different. We came up with a powder formula so that we, people could adjust according to their needs. We came up with a powder formula, like Paul said, so that we could add it to water and increase our intake of water. We want it, we've got eight products that we've developed, six, six of them are on hold until we can prove our model. But these products are designed to help people where they're at, which is, I feel crappy, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. From a, from a product formulation perspective and from a guy who's seen just about everything, tell me what excites you about what we're doing. Tell us a little bit about the process that you're going through to ensure our safety and making sure that these things are tested, what kind of a lab we have. Let us know really what, where you're at on this. Yeah, no, well, I first uh, appreciate the opportunity to talk with you, JD, and, and the rest of the team and anybody who might be watching. Um, we love the the Zen products on a personal level, um, I have a lot of pride, if you will, in what we've accomplished here. And although it's your product, JD, and you're, you are the brainchild behind it, uh, we're, we've been honored to be able to help through that process. And, and um, on a, again, on a personal level, I've always believed that beverages, nutritional beverages, functional beverages are the future of nutrition, right? I mean, Yes, it's easy to take a capsule and, and Americans consume more capsules than, than anybody, right, in supplements. But um, when you can take a drink, like Paul mentioned and, and Mike and um, everyone, when you can just simply drink a glass of water, get a healthy dose of nutrition and feel good while you're doing it, it's so much better than, than <laughs> uh, what most people do, the alternatives, right? Um, and it's, it's not extreme. It fits into the lifestyle. So anyhow, when you came to us and mentioned you wanted to do a, a CBD-oriented beverage, uh, we were very excited about it. And, and at Factory 6, we're a CBD manufacturing company. Uh, we've got a lot of experience now in the space. We were one of the first companies in the state of Utah to get certified to be able to manufacture CBD products. And in fact, had the very first product ever registered by the state, just like uh, Zen Life is today, the Zen products. Um, one of the key elements, and I think a lot of people don't understand, or maybe there's some confusion in the marketplace with regards to uh, CBD products in general, um, is around testing, safety, efficacy. And if it's okay, I, while we were talking here, I actually just wrote down um, from going through the process, I, I wrote down how many steps, how many checks there are to validate the safety and, and potency of your product. Is it okay if I take just a minute and read through that? Absolutely, let's do it. I think this is so, fantastic. So as you go through, as, as you talk about CBD, and most people realize, um, I would hope by now, that CBD comes from hemp or um, a, a very mild form of cannabis, right? Which um, is grown specifically to not have psychoactive effects, but just get all the medical and health benefits of, of um, the plant. And I want to walk through all the different steps. I'm going to do it very, very quickly. But if you count, you can ch check my math on me uh, on this. But um, I'm going to call out how many times we talk about testing. All right. So before the harvest even begins, all of the soil is tested on a, on a GMP kind of farm or a good farm that we use, right? The type of farm. We, and our material is grown specifically for us, both in Oregon and in Kentucky. And we know exactly the type of strain and, and I can geek out on you for a minute. But um, so the soy gets, soy gets tested first uh, before the plants are actually put into the ground. They're tested as well at that point. And when I say test, meaning they do a full workup or a panel, if you will, on the material. Um, it then gets tested before it's harvested. So uh, most of the time the CBD is grown for three or four months. And then before you harvest, what they're trying to do is actually pretty interesting. They're gaming to get as high a potency of CBD as possible in the plant and as low a THC level as possible. And so you're growing, as, as you're growing that CBD, you're trying to get to maximize the fruit, if you will, um, before your harvest, right? So it gets tested before the harvest and then it goes through an extraction process. 
and the material gets tested again as it's extracted. Um, after extraction, it gets tested as well. So we get a crude oil out and we, get, we test it at that point to know exactly what all the different uh, terpenes and profiles and uh, potency levels are at that point. We then bring it into our facility and we are a GMP certified facility, which means every single ingredient before it can go onto our floor or get used in a manufacturing of a product, every single ingredient gets tested again. So it gets tested as it comes into our facility and that's a requirement, it's a state requirement for us. And then we test it after we do a refining. So we actually take the CBD, the raw material, and we refine it and it gets tested at that point. So we know after it's refined, again, exactly what we're working with and the quality thereof. And then it gets blended into a product. Once we know what the potencies and everything is, it get, in this case, gets blended into your sleep or energy product. So it gets tested at that point once it's in the product. And so that way we can make sure if we say, there's a hundred milligrams in that product, there is exactly a hundred milligrams or, you know, or 50 milligrams or whatever it happens to be. And we do that before it goes into a final pouch or a container or anything. So that way if something needs to be adjusted, right? Where we don't have to throw away all the packaging. So we mentioned before it goes into the product, it gets tested again after the product is completed. And so to validate that from the time it was in the product, uh, it goes, you know, anyhow, in the packaging, and before it's released to you the or the client, in this case, Zen Life, we do one full complete micro panel potency, yeast mold, everything, salmonella, E. coli, you you name it, we test for it before it ever gets into your hands and or your customers' hands. So how many times do we what do we get up to? I didn't I lost I track. Ten. I think ten. Okay. And so I've told uh, I've mentioned this and you just validated this for me. I think the guys who are making the most money in this whole C B D space are the laboratories. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I should have started a laboratory thing. Should have started a lab, right? Yeah. But and, and just by side note, all of those labs that we use, they are independent, third-party, FDA certified laboratories. So meaning they have protocols they follow, uh, SOPs and such, uh, to so we can replicate those tests. Uh, and you can again, I could geek out. I apologize. Feel free to cut me off. But one thing that's kind of interesting when we test for our products, we actually make sure in this case your product. Um, that the final CBD level is plus or minus about 5%. And so when you think about 50 milligrams, it's hard to see 50 milligrams of material, right? That CBD is really powerful stuff. Um, and so it's, it, it's, it's not microscopic, but it's close, right? And so we're trying to get, we're just trying to get perfect in every single pouch, every single con container, 50 milligrams, right? Um, and to do that, we have to have a little variance, right? I mean, you know, just this, the world we live in reality, our variance is five to 10%. I guarantee you, if you were to go pick up the Advil or ibuprofen that's sitting in your cupboard right now, you have any idea what their variance level is on the actual amount of Advil in a 200 milligram pill? I'm, I'm guessing somewhere around 22, 25%. 20 to 40%. 20 to so, 40, wow. So it could be, so when you pick up a ibuprofen, I mean, it might be 200, 40 or it might be 180 milligrams. Wow. Okay. Wow. When you get your Zen sachet, it's within five to 10% of whatever the label claim happens to be. Wow. And so we, we, it's because of the testing and, and all of the stuff we go through. Um, so there's, there's a, hopefully that makes you feel good, but also is the reality of what we go through in manufacturing. We spend a lot of money to make sure that the product is a quality product. Um, now, speaking of quality, that's our, that's our number two most critical component. And if you can imagine that, our number one most critical component when we make a product, especially like Zen Life and why I was so excited about these two products, my number one requirement is it's got to taste good. If it doesn't taste good, why are we selling it? Why are we promoting it? Because because you don't have to have a product that tastes bad, right? You can make it taste good, you can make it be effective, and you can make it work, right? Do you, do you think we did like? 15 iterations of taste was it about 15 yeah it's about 15 at least I, I you were you were quite tired with me at the end of this thing I, when we got oh, to, it, was we worth it. it was worth it they taste so good yeah, but it, it it takes a little bit of extra work but let's make it taste great and i hope that's the case i'm excited for you know where zim is headed um you know the whole company has been phenomenal to work with uh, the experience of the products is awesome i use i use the energy product every single day i have a tub of it sitting on my desk at the office Three o'clock in the afternoon, you know what I'm scooping into is uh, a couple. I, I use three scoops in about 12 ounces of water with some ice, 
Um, Pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it, 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 it hits hard. It, it keeps me going until uh, I'm able to finish out the day. So, Well, we appreciate you, Carrie, and we appreciate what the partnership and all that you guys have done to help uh, us get to where we're at today. We're excited for the future as well. Uh, and, you know, this is, you know, bringing together a, a flavor chemist that, that we know and respect and bringing together CBD experts and bringing together people who understand the value of putting the right ingredients in at the right levels. I mean, we're doing some things here that is really unique to sleep and really unique to mental clarity and energy. And we'll do that with all of our products. It's important that we get that compounding effect and that compounding effect with the CBD will have long-term implications. Don't take my word for it. Go out, research, find out from PubMed. There are over 20,000 sightings in PubMed about CBD and the positive impact it's having on people's bodies, short-term and long-term. The, the quality of CBD that we're putting in is a professional grade, pharmaceutical grade CBD. The stuff that we're doing is really, truly top shelf. I'm, grateful for our partnership. I thank you, my friend.